Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard. This is episode 127. In the last episode, we... Oh god, I have such a bad memory. Preview. The RTG preview was out, um, and I am on currently the Austin Aries. As you guys can see right now. Two days, 22 hours left in this event. I've done okay, considering... The event started at 9 my time, and the first game I think I completed of RTG was like about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the afternoon, in, well, in the evening, so I don't think that's too bad. We did a, we did like a 3 hour stream on Twitch, did a, well got to the beginning of the Aries, played a couple games here and there since, but not too much. I'm going to try and grind out this uh, Austin Aries and maybe a couple points on this Xavier, we'll see. Tomorrow I want to finish it. Like, that's just it. Tomorrow, like, just, just finish it. It'll, it'll be hard, it'll be a grind, it'll, I'll really go for it, but just get it over and done with as soon as I can is the goal. We will play a bit of RTG in this video. I just want to show you guys my King of the Ring progress and how I'm doing in this King of the Ring. So I'm honestly really not doing too bad. I'm doing 7-2, which I think is actually really good. I'll show you quickly my the last matches we did. 2-7, and seven, we got the win. 5-4, and four, um, he's 4-5, and five, he's 6-3. and three. And then we lost a hit here against someone who's six and three. We won against two and seven, and we won against one uh, one eight. Lost to someone who's five and four, which is interesting. So he's actually doing less good than me. So I, I haven't actually checked if I've got a lot of bots in this king of the ring. So let's just check if, for example, Scott. Yeah, I, Scott isn't a bot, is he? No, he's not. He's not even a bot. Um, let's Jan, Jan, let's see if you're a bot. No, you're not a bot either. What? Okay. Uh, who else? Who else is like doing really bad? Well, let's check, let's check this guy. Well, not really bad. I know it's not that easy. Again, not a bot. So I think I might be in an all human king of the ring, but doing okay. Let me quickly show you the standings and who else is doing good. Andy is 9 and 0, so I'll probably be playing him soon. Um,. I play him, I play him here, probably will be about asleep by then, won't I? Yeah, I'll be asleep by then, it's already like, yeah, it's already 4.30 here, so probably be, probably be asleep by then. Um, but it's, I, th I think we can do well in this King of the Ring, again, a bit disappointed in the other one, getting caught bumped, but it happens, hopefully we can bounce back and do well in this King of the Ring. Let's play Smart TG, let's play Smart TG. Alright, plus 10s. Starts to go. We've got 10 games left on this Austin Aries. Then we move on to the ultimate, which is Xavier Woods, which is good because it's Kellogg, as I mentioned yesterday. That's all good. Um, what did else? What else do I want to say? Yeah, my 2K17 series. Um, it's been already six days since episode one. I really haven't been uploading every day recently. Really need to get back into doing that. Uh, I apologize again, guys. I've just been just doing. It's, it, it's kind of annoying because I keep putting it off doing videos sometimes, and I shouldn't. So, I will try my best in the in the next at least yeah, well, in the next couple of events and couple of days to really to really try and make it up for you guys over the last two weeks. I want to say ever since I kind of ever since I got banned from streaming on YouTube. You know, it kind of put me in a bit of a. Bit of a, ba a bit of a bad mood uh, for a while, being a bit, uh, not I wouldn't go as far as saying depressed, because that's, that's way too exaggerated, but just a bit down, you know, get me, get, gets me a bit down, when I, I can't stream on YouTube, it was really fun, really enjoyed it, but, and then, you know, we, we slowly did some really cool streams on Twitch, uh, and I've really enjoyed it, and I've wanted to do more, it's just I haven't really been making the time for it, so I will definitely make an effort with that, also with my um, 2K17 series, Again, as I mentioned a couple times already, just going to clarify one more time. It, the series isn't meant to be like, you know, amazing or anything. Or just it's just meant it's just it's not even I don't know. We don't we don't really we just improvise. We don't really plan anything most of the time. As you guys can tell by episode one, all the other episodes get a bit better, a bit more organised for you guys. But yeah, episode one, the end. It, they're just meant to be a bit of fun, a bit of amusement for you guys. If you're playing some supercard and just want to watch a video or something just like that, or if you like WO2K17, just for a laugh, really, because it's quite funny how bad we, well, Flame's good, but, yeah, I'm really bad, so, I don't know, just a bit of a laugh, but, yeah, definitely, if you guys are enjoying them, do show your support on them, I like the first one, thank you so much for the support on it, being great, obviously it doesn't get the same amount of views as my supercar videos do, but currently on the video, well, last time I checked, we had zero dislikes, we still have zero dislikes, so thank you, really, yeah, that is very, that is much appreciated, God, I'm stuttering so much. Never used to. I never actually used to. 
because I'm speaking to more people now, like, I used to be, like, really chill making my videos. I knew, like, 20 people would see it. Ten, you know, like, out of those 20, like, probably 10 people I know. So it was, it was never really a big deal. And then, and then this channel happened, and now, I don't know. No, I'm not shy, I'm not camera shy, but... It's definitely been, I don't know, I, I definitely feel more, a little bit more nervous when I'm recording a video. I'm like, oh my god, did I just say that? Oh god, it's, it's those kind of things, you know? Those kind of things. Just a bit more, a bit more aware of, you know, there are some, there are quite a few people now who watch these videos. I mean, compared to some videos, obviously not, but for me, you know, we get anywhere from a thousand to like 10, 15, 20,000 on some videos. So it's definitely, sometimes I'm like, god, oh, I swear. Like, right now, like, I'm, I'm just going on about the same subject that you guys probably don't care about, and, um, and I'm making a bit mad. Anyway, it's true, though. Sure, maybe I'm becoming a bit more self-conscious about the way I do my videos. I need to get back into that normal habit. But, yeah, 5K, guys. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about as well. 5K is coming up so quickly, and it's amazing. It's so insane to, to think that I'm going to hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Wow, like honestly, just wow, 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 wow. So grateful to all of you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, almost 5,000. It really is amazing for me. A huge, a huge milestone in a hof hopefully what is a really long um, career. Um, not really cool. Hopefully, hopefully it's a really long journey on this. Hopefully it's the begin. Hopefully it's the beginning of greatness. Did I just call myself greatness? That sounded angry. It's the beginning of a long, long, hope, hope, hopefully, a long road ahead of me. And this is just the beginning of it. I really hope. And it's, well, it's not just the beginning, but it's a really important milestone for the beginning of it. it took me 10 minutes to get, like, a really simple point <laughs> across to you guys. And you would have probably understood without me going into details. But, yeah. Awesome milestone. Thank you so much, guys. I want to really do something awesome as a 5K subscriber kind of special. I have no idea what I want to do, though. You know, everyone's going to be like, oh, I'll do a Q&A, but I want to do something more special than that. Oh, I'll do a giveaway. But it's just, I want to do something memorable. I want to do something really cool. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to probably do a... Okay, I, I, I know I've said this a couple of times in the past. That I'm going to do a straw poll, and then I'll put it in my next video, and then I completely forget about the straw poll. And it's probably going to happen, but if I remember... If I remember, over the next, like, probably another week, maybe, maybe even two, um, to if I, I don't know, probably, well, I don't know, it's been, it's, yeah, I think, I think I have to check on, like, Social Blade when it, but, on average, we'll probably hit that in about a week, so, uh, I'll, I'll maybe put it in the next, like, four or five videos, a straw poll in the description, and you guys get to vote what you guys want me to do as a 5,000 subscriber special video. Now, um, there's going to be a couple options in there that if you guys vote for, and if that wins, then that's what I would do. Ah, oh, but... Hmm. I don't know. Then I'm thinking, should it be a mystery? Should I come up with it and and it be a surprise? But then again, it's like, you guys got me to this milestone, so I wouldn't be here without you guys. So why shouldn't I do something that the majority of you guys want to see? So yeah, I'll probably do that. Probably straw poll. Have a couple of options in there of what I can do for 5,000 subscribers. Um, I'll get. I'll, I'll do a couple cool ones in there. If you want to see, it, you want to see. It. If you don't, you don't vote for it. Um, and if it, if if, but if those win, I, it will take a little bit, of, little bit of time for me to obviously do it, record it. Depending on how big the thing is, then it, we'll we'll see. But definitely want to do something special, guys. I mean, for three thousand subscribers, I thought I was going to do something good. We never ended up doing it. I'll reveal to everyone what that was meant to be. I was going to eat a, a chili ghost pepper. Um, well, it was not really the ghost chili. It's it's just a deriv a deriv deriv derivative. Deriv well, oh my god, I can't speak English. But uh, yeah, of a ghost chili pepper. It's a really pe it's a pepper, which is probably very hot. I was going to do that. Thought that could be different, interesting. Never got around to doing it. Sorry about that. And then for four K, I was like, oh, I'm going to do something for four K. I already forgot to do it for three K. I'll just do three K and four K and make one big video. Never got around to doing that. And I don't want to repeat the same thing again with this five thousand subscriber mark. So yeah. Again, rambled about so many weird things in this video, but at least I've been just grinding RTG while talking about these things. And, I mean, I do need to talk about something in these videos, so I hope you guys do find whatever this is meant to be interesting. 
Um, but yeah, let's get into let's get into some more interesting things for you guys, and I want you guys to tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. That is Friday Night SmackDown. Jinder Mahal winning the six pack challenge, becoming the number one contender for Randy Orton's title. So I've got a little bit of a spoiler, a bit of a spoilerish thing. Um, again, all these things I do say in these videos, I, I there's never, I, you know, I always, it's always coming from videos I watch on YouTube. Very good sources, obviously. Um, wrestling talk, wrestle talk. As you guys, if you guys watch them or know them, really good, really good news on WWE, up to date, all that good stuff. And I watch them a lot. So uh, sometimes, you know, they will drop a couple of spoilers in there, which makes it interesting. I mean, some people will be like, what's the point of watching wrestling if you know what's going to kind of happen? But it's not as simple as that. You do, you, it, they'll never be like, oh yeah, the winner of that match is going to be him, and then the winner, the, it's not really like that. But the whole Jinder Mahal, Randy Orton feud, if apparently, like, the build-up to Payback and their match, if if the, if he doesn't really get over with the crowd as a heel, or does it just makes the crowd a bit, like, you know, fall asleep pretty much, apparently they, they uh, have an idea, well, a backup plan of adding a third member to that match to make it a triple threat for the championship. So... If that, I didn't even use a spoiler alert. God damn, I'm such a retard. But it's not even that, is it that important? It doesn't really make it that important. Just, yeah, they might add a third person to it, which, could it be good? Could, I mean, I think Jinder Mahal could be a great heel if they if they use him right, if they really, I really could be a good heel. Now he's with the Bollywood boys, or the, they've, they're going to change their names to something else. Now the Singing Boys, I think, something like that. Um... It could be really interesting. It could be really interesting to see something different and new on SmackDown. Um, the kind of push they're giving to Jinder, I would have loved them to give it to Rusev when he makes his return. I think, not too sure what exactly he's doing right now. So um, yeah, but like as now Rusev is on SmackDown, I thought I thought Rusev would get that really kind of heelish push, that anti-American vibe to it and stuff. But it's going to Jinder, and I honestly could see greatness coming from it. It could really be the beginning of a great heel run for him. You know, he's got. He's got what it. He's got. He's he has got what it takes. Obviously, he needs improving, but he's got what it takes. You know, he's definitely got what it takes. So I'm looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. And it's different, isn't it? It is different. That's why I like SmackDown so much. And it's just it's the land of opportunity. And SmackDown's just the better show. But let me know what you guys think about Jinder Mahal winning the six pack challenge, becoming the new number one contendership. Do you guys have a problem with who he pinned to get the win? He pinned Sami Zayn. You know, he could have maybe pinned Mojo Rawley, but off off that Battle Royal win, I would have kind of, you know, made... A, so maybe not him. Who who could he have pinned? Could he have pinned maybe Eric Rowan, I think, would have been the, the best. I mean, again, he just made a return. He shouldn't really get jobbed out, like, that quickly after losing to... Um, I'm pretty sure he had a match on SmackDown the week before and lost that. But So who, who should have taken the pin for? Sami Zayn isn't doing really much of anything. He's not really in any storyline, so it... Sami Zayn's not the worst idea. Sami Zayn's obviously kind of an underdog, likes to, you know, fight his way back up for the big win, the big emotional one, the big memorable moment, the whole kind of Bailey thing, the whole, you know, underdog, like Daniel Bryan, those kind of people, you know, who, who chase a championship or who will chase the rivalry and... And, you know, yeah, I think you guys get what I'm saying. But anyway, I've been... God, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to finish this RTG game. End the video there. Let me know about everything I've said in this video. There's too many things I've asked you guys now. But yeah, the straw poll, I will try and get it in this description. But considering it's like almost 5am, I'm falling half asleep. I might just get this video up as quick as possible. And I might just not even bother to do the straw poll. So I'll put the straw poll maybe in tomorrow. Not maybe, definitely in tomorrow's video. Maybe in today's video. But just that I'll, I'll remind you guys again tomorrow if I put it in tomorrow's video. And remind you therefore. And you know. Until I, until, until I do, until I make my mind, well, you guys, until you guys make your minds up on what you want to see. Oh, right. Let's finish this game off. So no pro again, as you got, well, I mentioned that yesterday, The Miz, no, no, no pro again. A bit disappointed on that, but at least having portal support. Thinking about you, Flame, thinking about you. But you, but you, my wishes go out to you, man. To be fair, another support, another support. Some people get really unlucky with it. To be fair, I'm, look, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna complain that the Miz isn't a pro because it's another single after me having quite a few singles now.
But overall, with my peoples, my freebie, and all of that, like, considered, I really can't be disappointed. Like, not many supports. Even in Ultimate Tier, I wasn't getting... Well, I, I did have a little spat in Ultimate Tier. I was getting a couple of supports, but... In WrestleMania tier, not one support pool yet, which is fantastic. Hopefully, we can keep on this run of not getting supports and just getting wrestlers. Hopefully, my next people is just like Triple H, Seth Rollins, Goldberg, someone like that. Like a really big pro for my deck, because that's what I'm lacking. A Bailey. A Bailey would be phenomenal. A Bailey would definitely be phenomenal. I'm jealous. I'm jealous of her. Again. Everyone's got these cards I want, but I don't have them. <laughs> like, I mean, D2's got Alexa Bliss, WrestleMania, and Ultimate I still never got. Everyone's everyone's getting the cards I want to get. <laughs> I mean, Bobby Roode is a card I really wanted to get in Ultimate Tier. I'm like, he's like, after, after I get Xavier in this RTG, he's going to be the only um, superstar in Ultimate I haven't got. It's going to be ridiculous. But yeah, just not getting who I want. In before, I pull, like... An ultimate, Alexa, an ultimate Alexa Bliss right now, I'd be really happy. I'd be so happy right now if I got an ultimate Alexa Bliss. I'd probably be as happy as if I pulled like a James Ellsworth or a Cedric Alexander or or like someone like who's I've already got a pro of, if that makes any sense. Yeah, definitely, actually. I'd definitely prefer an Alexa Bliss. But we're going to end the video there, guys. I think I've rambled on enough. Um, but I hope, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the videos. Let me know as well if these kind of videos where I just talk about random shit and it's just... I don't know, <laughs> is it better than when I don't know what to talk about and I don't really talk much? Let me know, just let me know about that. If not, it doesn't matter. Straw poll tomorrow, hopefully I'll get that done. I'll give you I'll give you a sneak preview of what you guys could potentially see in that straw poll. So oh, I do do I want to do a 24 hour stream? The thing is guys, 24 hour streams are just are just hard. Hard as fuck. And it's just Puts me in a bad. Yeah, I'm not just. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just not gonna do that. There's other ways of you guys enjoying my content than for making me do a 24 stream. So I'll put a 12 hour stream in in the in the options. I will probably put. Um, I'll probably put giveaway because I just have to, I suppose, don't I? Um, an hour long supercard episode. I don't know. I really don't know. I'll, um, I'll try and think of more things. You guys, again, also can put ideas in the comments of what I can do for 5,000 subscribers. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Sorry it's a bit of a long one. And I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, take care. Peace out.